guys welcome back to my channel i am about to do another recipe now i found this recipe in a magazine and it's called citrus herb so it's gonna be on the citrusy side but instead of it being like a dry rub it's gonna be more of like a wet rub <laughs> Um, it's gonna have a bunch of juices and it's going to help marinate whatever I put in there I haven't decided on whether I am gonna do it on seafood or on veggies yet but I think I want to assemble it give it a nice smell and figure out if I do seafood or veggies but I think I'm leaning more towards like seafood probably but yeah let's get started on this citrus herb recipe let's do it let's go Mamanos. all right so we need a quarter of a cup of orange juice so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one up in half and see how much orange juice we get Ooh. We might just need half of this. Oh my God, I'm getting orange juice all over me. I'm trying to do this slowly. It smells so good. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh, this one's juicy. Yeah, I think with half this orange is perfect. So half orange juice, I mean a quarter of a cup of orange juice. Mm. This is a good orange. It's so juicy and, and sweet. Oh my God, this is bomb. Mm. says we need a tablespoon of lemon juice. So let's go ahead and do that. I have this cute baby one, it's so cute. And that should be enough for a tablespoon. Ugh. My um, measuring cups kind of match with my outfit today, that's cute. This one is juicy as well. Mm. And yeah, I think we're just gonna need half. Half of this baby one should be good. Let's go ahead and add it to the orange juice. Next, we're gonna do two teaspoons of orange zest. So I already put one teaspoon in here another one and then it says two teaspoons of lemon zest as well all right I already put one uh, teaspoon of lemon zest and this is the second mm, citrusy now it says two scallions so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the two ends and it says chop finely so I hope this is okay I'm trying to be like one of those professionals like super quick but probably shouldn't because I'm not a professional so way to the green part as well because that has some nice juices in there nice flavor this 
this chopped finely, but I don't think it's going to be a super big deal if it's not super fine. and add that into our mix. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna do two garlic cloves and it says thinly sliced. So Trying to do it as much as possible, as thinly as possible. Oh, I love garlic so, so much. And lastly, we are going to do a tablespoon of rosemary and then two teaspoons of thyme. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this off. Oh, it smells so good. Chop this up um, off camera real quick. All right, here is the tablespoon of rosemary. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more orange juice. But that's how it's looking, guys. Oh, that smell is amazing. Wow. Okay. Time for the thyme. <laughs> I know, I know I'm not the first one to say something like that, but it just came out naturally. What can you do? Time for time. All right, I already put one teaspoon of thyme in here and this is the second one. We're just gonna mix that up. It's looking a little dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit more orange juice in here. Cause, por que no? Why not? Mm-hmm. Smells really good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go buy some shrimp because this smells so good for like maybe a shrimp, another like shrimp salad because it's so citrusy. That or maybe like shrimp with rice. But yeah, let me go to the grocery store and buy shrimp and if I don't find shrimp or whatever, um, I'll think of something else, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find shrimp. So, stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. I am out here taking a little run before I pick up the kiddos for school. I've been struggling a lot with trying to get back to running and exercising and stuff. You know, I think we, we all go through those moments, but I finally just, I don't know, have the energy to wake up today and actually get out of my bed, which can be very hard sometimes. But we're out here and we're gonna ride this way for as long as possible and see how it goes. But. I'm very happy that I'm here. It's a nice day. It's like a little gloomy, but it's nice. Hey guys, so I am picking up Aaron and Ezio. I had plans to hang out with them today. I wanted to go play some tennis. I bought some tennis things back there. I want them to try, you know, every sport that they can. And um, it's a little cloudy and rainy. It's like 
it's like sprinkling a little bit and they're a little sick and I'm I feel like I'm getting a little sick too so we might end up doing something else but I'm gonna ask them and see what they want to do but let's see where they are all right so we are going to do tennis this is the first time we both we all play so let's see how it goes let's do it Hey guys, I am back home and I really like tennis. I don't think I have ever played it too much. I've played it a few times here and there, but I really enjoyed my time with the boys and just playing tennis and having fun. We were there for about 20 minutes, not super long because it started raining on us so we had to leave and we had other plans for a little bit later. But I'm back home and I am going to cook the shrimp that we did. It's been a few days now since it's been soaked in this uh, citrus herb. So I am excited to cook it and eat it and give it a go and see if it tastes good or if it's a recipe that I probably won't want to do again. But I think I'm going to like it. Let's see. Let's do this. So I'm gonna have this with some mashed potatoes. I was gonna do white rice, but I have a ton of mashed potatoes that I need to finish. But I think this might have been better with white rice. But it's okay. Let's go eat. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the shrimp um, and see what we think. So the shrimp that I bought is um, cooked shrimp. So I think cooking it even more with oil, um, I feel like it made the shrimp have like a hard texture. The shrimp is, is, is it like shrunk, but it also has kind of like a tough texture now not super soft so i don't think i should have cooked it um mashed potatoes are are good you can't go wrong with mashed potatoes but yeah i feel like this the flavor is very very subtle like you can taste the orange but It doesn't have like a super jam-packed flavor to it um so i think this is like a good recipe for someone who you know someone who's probably like on a strict diet who 
wants to have shrimp as protein but wants it to have like a little bit of flavor but nothing too crazy that's what this flavor is reminding me of i don't think this is a a recipe that i would do again mm. unless i figured out like maybe if i cooked maybe if i had uncooked shrimp and i did like shrimp tacos with this flavor i think that would have been better but i was kind of on a tight schedule here so just went with something super simple but yeah that is my opinion on this citrus herb soap recipe while i have you guys here i wanted to also uh mention that ramadan is almost here and I have decided to go ahead and try out the fasting that people do on Ramadan, which is only eating when the sun is down, pretty much. Uh, so eating before the sunrise and eating after the sunset. And as soon as, as long as the sun is out, no eating and not even water. And the reason I want to do it is because my best friend did it last year. She like fully did the whole month and she struggled with it. First few days, it was tough, but towards the end, she was like glowing, like mentally and physically. She was just like in a really good place. And so I was very jealous and I wanted to see what that's like and see if I can get some mental clarity and or lose some weight with fasting during Ramadan. Get a nice little cleanse going, but I'm very excited to do it. I'm nervous, but excited. Now, like with everything in my life, I'm not going to take it super serious. I'm going to try my best to to go with it and like really like not even water, uh, not even drinking water. But if I mess up or if I do drink water or I do have a meal when the sun's out, I'm not going to like punish myself. I'm just going to try to do better the next day. But I'm going to really, really try to complete the whole month and do it the right way. So wish me luck. I will update you guys on that as I'm going through it. Um, and I'm excited to, to see and feel the results. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching me try these crazy recipes and whatnot. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you are subscribed, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means everything to me. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video and see where we end up. We got some good things coming along, so stay tuned for that.